Fiona was a category for major hurricane with peak sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, deepest pressure of 932 millibars. Early on September 12, the NHC began to monitor a tropical wave over the central tropical Atlantic for gradual development. The circulation associated with the system became more defined and persisted into the morning of September 14, attaining sufficient organization to designate it as Tropical Depression 7 later that day. The storm moved over Guadeloupe as a 50 miles per hour tropical storm around midnight UTC on September 16 and then entered the Eastern Caribbean. Early on September 18, the storm strengthened into a hurricane as it approached Puerto Rico before making landfall there that afternoon with maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. Fiona weakened slightly as it moved overland, but began to rapidly strengthen once back over water. Further intensification resulted in it reaching category for strength with maximum sustained winds of 130 mp at 6 o'clock universal time coordinated on September 21st. Fiona quickly transitioned into a large and powerful post-tropical cyclone as it approached the coast of Nova Scotia at 3 o'clock universal time coordinated on September 24th. Altogether, at least 22 deaths have been attributed to Fiona. One death was confirmed in Guadeloupe, while at least two deaths were confirmed in the Dominican Republic and three in Canada. In Puerto Rico, as of September 24, the Department of Health had confirmed 16 deaths related to the path of the system. Still recovering from the effects of Hurricane Maria in 2017, torrential rains fell islandwide on September 18 and 19, up to 25 inches in some regions, causing destructive flash flooding that washed out roads and bridges. In addition, the effects of the storm resulted in the islandwide power grid being knocked out. In Canada, homes and businesses across the Maritimes, Quebec's north coast and Newfoundland were destroyed and several hundred thousand people were left without power in Fiona's wake. Voiceover text comes from the Wikipedia page for the 2022 hurricane season and from this storm's individual page. Voiceover generated by an AI voice program 